Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking the hardest, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense, hence you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. In top corner, roll top scorers, we spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins to the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings it a 1v1, one one, trying to see who wins. And UFC! Southampton nil, Manchester United won. And yes, it, it wasn't the prettiest game. It wasn't the prettiest of victories. But Manchester United have back-to-back -back wins for the first time this season. Eric Ten Hag back-to-back -back wins for the first time as Manchester United manager. And we've finally broken that horrific away streak going all the way back into the last season of seven away games lost in a row. <laughs> Imagine that. That is how much we've been sinking deeper and deeper and deeper into the mud. But ladies and gentlemen, Bruno Fernandes was the one who scored the winner in the 55th minute. It was a brilliant finisher. Got a good move, to say the least. And Bruno Fernandes needed that goal. Good crossing by Diogo Dalot to pick him out. And then that first time, side-footed finish, which I think even Cappy mentioned in the watch along. You don't really see that a lot from Bruno Fernandes. A lot of the time, especially recently, Rash. he's been snatching at his chances. He's really been trying to blast him, but this one, it was calmness personified and we needed that to be fair. Absolutely needed that. And we got the win. After the game, Eric Ten Hag mentioned that we survived in the second half. We had to survive and it's not good enough. And I'm glad that, you know, as a manager, he's seen these things from early and recognizing and almost calling out the team to, to be better, to get better. And so it will take a long time for that to happen. We will keep on stressing that. We will keep on talking about that time and time again. But in the end of the day, it has to get better. Just because you have time doesn't mean you can slack off early on. That means you have to put in the work at every stage of this process to make sure that you are not missing out on deadlines. It's like homework. If you miss out on a certain deadline, all of a sudden you're behind and you're panicking, 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 panicking. And then you may miss out something crucial. That's one grade down. I wanted to talk quickly about this transfer window because today I'm speaking on Sunday, this is, and it seems like we're getting closer to signing Anthony for 100 million. I think euros, it is 100 million euros. And look, we've talking about the price point and said, it's not good enough. That's why it's hashtag glazes out and we'll keep on saying that every episode because in the end of the day, if these deals were done earlier, it would have been done for a lesser price and we probably would have had a better chance of getting more signings in as well at the same time. But the same problems from the previous regime have picked up yet again. And even though we've replaced personnel, it seems that the same people are still there. And that is the biggest concern that I personally had seeing guys like John Myrtle, ETC. Those guys have been within the club and they don't have experience within those positions. Who are they asking for advice? Like, who are they asking advice from, basically? Be careful. Who are they learning from? The people in the previous regime. And that was my biggest concern, and it looks like it's coming to life now. We may get Anthony. We may get, I saw something on, on Twitter saying we want, might try to get a midfielder, might try to get a right back, might try to even get a striker depending on what happens in this window. Really? But we're going into our, what is it? We played, uh, okay, Brighton, Brentford, Liverpool, and now Southampton. So we're going to go into our fifth Premier League game of the season now. And we're trying to desperately get these signings over the line when the majority of them should be done before Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United even kicked off for this season. And that just shows the incompetence levels of this board, of the ownership once again, because let's not forget the ownership. And I have to stress this because there's still people that do not understand this. The ownership are responsible for picking out their candidates within the board. Those people that are working within those footballing departments, your scouting departments, transfer negotiations, 
it's the ownership that sign off on those appointments. Mm. So they are as much responsible, if not the biggest problem in this whole club, because time and time again, they are satisfied with hiring people who are not experienced far from top of the line in that role where even this summer, there were options out there to bring in, for example, directors of football, technical directors, whatever you want to call it, who may or may not have been willing to come to the club due to the state that it was in. But you could have at least tried to see if you could get better people in those positions to help Aaron Ten Hag and his coaching staff and, of course, the team on the pitch to improve our chances of being better, of improving this season. But by going out with the majority of the players who have failed, not just last season and the season before ETC, then you're already making the job even tougher than it has to be. There's a lot of people also who have a different take on this and say, well, it's going to take time to get rid of a lot of the players, which I do agree with, and then for Eric Ten Hag to rejig everything and get his own team finally. It will take a year, two years. This is a three-year contract. So time is, is, is not with us as it used to be, especially in football. Managers have limited time to get success before the fans get you know, unhappy. We know this already. And of course, the board act, whether it's right or wrong. So we're going to have to see what happens for now. It's a good win, back-to-back -back wins. We're going into Leicester now, a team that is not in good form, but still, you just never know. So I guess we'll have to see what happens after that. You know, CM, I, I relate a lot of the things you say. I relate a lot of the things you say. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? I've had some time to think since yesterday. It was a very early game. 12.30 kickoff first. 12.30 mm -hmm. kickoff of the season. How I don't like them not one bit. Yeah, but I had a lot of time to think. And you know what? I'm disappointed. And I do have something to get off of my chest. And it... The first part is for the team. So let me address that first and foremost. All week, questions, questions, questions. Are they going to be able to bring that same level of intensity that they did with Liverpool against Southampton? And that wasn't the case. It just wasn't. Mm -hmm. Simply not the case. And that is not good enough because that is the basic. People talk about, yeah, it's going to take time. It's going to take time for people to shape into this style of play, all of that stuff there. Effort is not a style of play. It is not a style of play. It is how... It, it, it is basic application within the, the sport of football, within the game. Basic application, showing effort, showing an understanding. This is one thing I can accept It's going to take time. But having the composure to keep the ball, to control the ball, whether you're home or away. A Manchester United team needs to be able to do that because that is how you win games convincingly, being able to control possession, control the game, off ball also with your movement. In that forward front line, I did not see enough. I, I remember in the first half, seeing Jaden Central on the left wing, driving, driving forward. Then he has to cut inside, passes it into Marcus Rashford, who has his back to goal in the box, to go in the box and the Southampton players are just swarming him they easily win back the ball time and time again it's predictable FC we need more players who are fluid in that front line to be able to change wingers changing strikers going out wide something changing just fluid movement but also when you pass it's a simple thing to try and drag defenders out of position so you can create a space for another person to run into it and receive the ball from them, and if they don't, they're dragging another defender out of position, mm. and you know the rest. Maybe I'm just impatient, and maybe it will take time, but I'm just looking at these things and I'm frustrated because I think that's the basics. When you're a little and yeah, learning the game of football, they tell you, follow your pass. They say, pass and move. So wrong? why are professional footballers feigning to do that? And I'm not saying it's, on a, it's, it's all the time, but it's, mo it's the majority of the time. Let's just keep it that way. It's the majority of the time. And the last thing I want to touch on is, like, like what CM said, the transfer window. I think enough is enough. We have three days left on the time of this video being uploaded in a transfer window. 
and it is utter chaos for Manchester United. Top to bottom, it is utter chaos. These guys are out here panicking, rushing to get these signings underway, overpriced signings at that. And look, if the player ends up to, to play well for Manchester United and ends up to be a success, that is great. But we cannot continue to operate with this kind of model because that same model has led us to being where we are after several years of pain, after several years of a hardship and underachievement and downright failure on and off the pitch. Enough is enough, man. Enough. I'm, I'm sick and tired of seeing this. And this is why, fan base, let's continue to wake up. Let's continue to be vocal about this thing. Because these glazers, they need to go. And we need somebody within this club that has the know-how, has the knowledge and the care, first and foremost, to look after every single department within this club associated to this club, Manchester United. We should include the men's team, the women's team, the youth teams, every single department you know possible. Making sure that football is the number one priority yet again, <laughs> yeah, after a, such a long time at this club. To one, two to two, is that I can't this I have no clue. I need the evidence week after week to renew some faith in a broken proof and have it too clear to think that it's new. Let me stiff our front like it's blue. Ask again after the next two fixes and I'll try and find planning my act to be true. Oh to one, two for two, is that I can't this I have no clue. I need the evidence week after week to renew some faith in a broken group and have it too clear to think that it's new. Let me stiff our front like it's blue. Ask again after the next two fixes and I'll try and find planning my act to be due. It's a glazer's out, a feral season. Smoky settings, the crash get bigger when they ain't amended And half the games they ain't attended How can we fix problems by sending? And I don't need texting Or maybe if you're on I get the movement road in time to ascend it Seven losses to the road, away from home, the thing look rough Started the season cold and we warming up See the schedule's tough, successive games in a week Can you handle the pressure or I'm calling a bluff? So get skill sets, can you show me the basics or is it just stuck in the mud? Next up, a team on a low then, after that it's a rival thing And I out on a high singing one man's name car, he is the next best thing You might be 4-4-4 four, 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 but you can't lose a game versus me if you're chasing leagues Is it serious to be delirious or we lack experience? They tell me just trust the process behind this, these processes taxing The reset needed, false moon walking away from the blame like Jackson One, two, three days to operate and salvage distraction But let's be real, the goods are damaged up top that can care and passion Oh to one, two for two, is that I can't this I have no clue I need the evidence week after week to renew some faith in a broken group And have it too clear to think that it's new Let me stiff our front like it's glue Ask again after the next two things and I'll try for a planet my have to be true Oh to one, two for two, is that I can't this I have no clue I need the evidence week after week to renew some faith in a broken group And have it too clear to think that it's new Let me stiff our front like it's glue Ask again after the next two things and I'll try for a planet my have to be true